Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I hope everyone's doing okay. Well, it's uh, March 31st, the last day of the month, and we're living in a strange time right now. Let me tell you, it's, uh, it's crazy what's going on out there. I uh, hope everyone's staying safe. I hope you're all staying healthy uh, and sane. So just a few things I want to mention um, before I get started to the actual pour. If you don't want to hear what I have to say, please feel free to fast forward to the paint portion, paint portion of this video because um, I do have a few things I want to say and show you a few pieces as well. Um, two things I want to say. Um, one, uh, in one of my last videos, I talked about how my kids were kind of, you know, getting on my nerves because, you know, everyone's home now and they're not in school and, you know, trying to teach them how to do schoolwork and all that, you know, I was venting, okay? I don't need people messaging me or writing comments on my videos saying, you know, someone wrote to me, well, if you're going to bitch about your kids, why did you have kids? Honestly, like am I not allowed to vent? Anyone who has kids out there, please tell me you've had a moment in time where, you know, your kids have just, you know, had you up to here and you just, you know, like, come on, I don't need that. So when I see comments like that, you're done. You're out, you're deleted, you're blocked. I don't need that, okay? Uh, you know, you guys all know me very well by now, especially my longtime viewers. I say what's on my mind. If you don't like it, that's fine but I don't need hate comments or hate messages or hate emails, okay? So you all know how much I love my kids and how much I love my dog and all that. The second thing is a lot of people are saying, well, why don't you paint with your kids? Why don't you put them in your videos and do a painting with your kids? The problem with that is YouTube has a very strict um, law. It's called the COPPA, C-O-P-P-A. Um, it's a new thing that came out December, January, somewhere around there. I cannot have the kids in the video. Um, if I do, it changes the rules about everything my you know channel stands for. And it's too much to explain, but if you really wanna know about it, just do a search and it's called COPA. Like I said, C-O-P-P-A. So unfortunately due to the new COPA laws, I cannot have the kids in my videos. And last thing I wanna mention is I, you all know I get emails all day long, messages, comments, private messages, Facebook messages, Instagram messages. I do my best to answer everybody I can, okay? Especially now that we're all home and you know all that. I will find time somewhere to reply to you and help you with your question or give you an opinion on your art if you've sent me pictures. What I won't do is if you shoot me an email and you don't even say hi. You don't even say, hi Canela, how's it going? You know, or anything nice. And you just come out and say, how do you do this? And tell me what I'm doing wrong. Without even a, so much as a hello, I'm not gonna answer your email. You know, I'm a person too, it's a respect thing. So if you're just gonna email me or send me a message with a flat out question, without even saying, hi, how are you? I just you're gone I, I won't I won't reply to it I just find it so rude say hi how you doing I hope you're doing okay you know I love your videos you don't have to say anything you know just just say hi okay so that is my ranting for this okay and I'm gonna put that aside now and I'm gonna show you guys some of my pieces that are dry and varnished so starting with um, this piece here. This was done using my um, Arteza paints and uh, it dried beautifully and it's now nicely varnished. Now I wanted to show you guys, I started peeling the tape off, but I wanted to show you guys um, how easy it is. So I already peeled the one side off, but I wanted to show you when you tape your piece and this is just dollar store tape. It's not special 3M tape or anything like that, but as you can see, peels off nice easily you get clean lines all you got to do is just tape it properly and you don't need super expensive crazy expensive tape like i said i get this from the dollar store and nine times out of ten you get a perfect except for here but overall though it's pretty clean okay a lot of people ask me what do i do to the back i have a rubber stamp i stamp it with my rubber stamp and I sign it with a Sharpie and I date it 2020. That's all I do to the back. 
Um, I don't do it on the wood, I do it on the canvas. And that's what I do, all right? So there's that piece. It's a 12 by 16 inch and it is available for purchase. So if you're interested, email me, canelasiraco at gmail.com. And then here's the other piece. This is the uh, 16 by 20 inch. This is beautiful. I'm so happy with the way this one turned out. It's dry, it's finished, it's varnished, and it's sold. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Thank you to the lovely person who purchased it. It will be wrapped up and shipped out within the next day or so. But this one turned out really, really nice. So that one is finished as well. And the last piece I wanted to show you was the triptych. Uh, I don't think I can pick them all up at once, so we're gonna have to do it one at a time. But this is now done and varnished as well. So beautiful. I, this is one of my, I don't know, I got a lot of favorite pieces, but let's see here, match it up as closely as possible. There we go. So um, this one turned out really well too. And just the vibrancy in the colors, I'm super, super happy with. And I'm even more happy because this sold as well. So this piece has sold as well. And thank you to that person who purchased the piece. And that's the third piece. So it's just so vibrant. Look at how vibrant the colors are. And this is why I don't flood my colors with white paint anymore because I find that the colors end up so much more prettier without that extra flood of white. So those are the pieces I wanted to show you real quick and the little rant and vent I had. So anywho, um, I'm gonna bring you guys down and I'll get started and I'll show you guys and tell you guys what I'm up to today. Be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and surprise, it's MDF round time. It's been a long time since I've done an actual MDF board round. Um, so I figured let's do one. This is a 20 inch MDF round. Um, a lot of people ask me where I get my rounds, where I get my wood cutouts, all that kind of stuff. I have a local carpenter who makes these things for me. So, um, you know, find someone local, go on Facebook, go on Kijiji and search for carpenters in your area. And I, I'm sure you'll find someone if you are in the US, um, I've mentioned this before, you can check out um, Karen. She's on Facebook. Um, her Facebook page is Carolina um, Foothills Wood Art, okay? I will um, put that in the description below so you can check her out on Facebook and she makes all kinds of stuff. That's if you're in the US. Um, really quickly, I forgot to show you one piece. Um, that is my attempt at blowing out my petals and my flowers. Um, this one is now dry and varnished as well. It's a 12 by 24 inch canvas and it's also available for purchase. Okay, so that's that. I've gone ahead and already put down my flood coat of white. It is Artist Loft um, Flow Acrylic White mixed with water and Floetrol. And if you want to know how I mix this and my colors in my squeeze bottles, you can check out video number 63. I will link it here at the top. All right, you can check that all out. All colors, including your base white, must be mixed the same in the same consistency, okay? I am just going to pop all these bubbles super quick. Now, while I was flooding this and just getting this ready for you guys, um, my neighbor just texted me and said confirmed case of the you know what uh, virus in uh, Innisfil where I live. So that's not cool. Um, I'm gonna have to check that article out when I'm done recording. Let's see, that was a Juno hair lurking around and here's another one. Oh, Juno, my boy. All right. Okay, everything. See, the good thing about these studio lights I have, the light, the white bright light that shines on it really helps me see if there's anything in the paint. Okay, guys. Uh, we are, or I am, going to do a plethora of colors here. 
I wanted to try something rainbow-y, rainbow-ish. Um, so I have, oh gosh, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colors. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know how it's going to look, but we're going to give it a shot and we will figure it out together. So I'm going to start with um, Deep Sapphire by Deco Art. Then I have Metallic Purple by Artist Loft. Then I have Deep Turquoise by Deco Art, and that's in the texture bottle. Uh, Pebeo's um, Iridescent Green Yellow, followed by Dioxazine Purple by Golden. Then I have my favorite, 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. And then we have Berry by Deco Art. Uh, Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. And finally, Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. So you can see I have a bunch of different brands here, okay? I use all kinds of brands um, and they all seem to work just fine. Yes, I know some like metallics are a lot heavier, but I still mix everything the same way, okay? Uh, let's see here. So I had a few people tell me when I do my squiggly lines, I start here and I end here. What if I were to just do a little bit here because by the time I blow it out over here and here, there's enough paint to get to the end. So, and then I don't have to waste all that paint. So I'm gonna give that a go. Um, and I'm gonna try, and, I don't wanna go all the way across. Maybe I'll do like a squiggle, like a half squiggle. I don't know, maybe something like that. Oh, I got an air bubble in there and it's spattered some some paint on me right there. Little dab with your finger, little dab with your finger, and just like that, it's like an eraser. Oh, look at that. Little dab with my finger, and it's like an eraser. <laughs> your finger acts like an eraser. Okay, so next, whoa. See, I shook, the, I shook these all before I got started. And now when I'm opening or twisting the lid open, I'm getting a little bit of the color spilling out. All right, purple. Now let's go with the uh, deep turquoise. Wow, I did put a lot of that sapphire blue down, didn't I? Okay, I wanted to throw in this green, green yellow in here. So this should be interesting. It's a beautiful color though. I'm, I love it. I even might add a little extra. I'm gonna end up with a ton of paint on here because there are what, nine colors I said? But that's all right. I want to see a beautiful rainbow come out of this. So we shall see. Uh, all right. I hope everybody is doing all right. And tomorrow is um, April 1st. I really hope People don't pull some really silly April Fool's jokes. Now is not the time for that kind of stuff. At least I don't think so. But anywho, I did uh, homework with Sophia today. We did some math and science and language and some reading. Holy cow, that is a lot of color and a lot of paint. Okay. Let's uh, pop any bubbles that are in the colored paint. I'm kind of off center here. I'm going to just turn this. No, you know what? I'm going to turn it this way. So then it's a little easier for me to blow out. And let's see how this pans out. I'm going to first take this little fluff out of here. Okay, so I think I'm going to blow it, let's see, um, this way and that way, and then we'll see how the rest of this works out. So I'll start here, and uh, let's hope we get some good colors out of this. All right, let me make sure my attachment is on nice and tight. All right, let's go. Oh, 
holy cells. Wow. This is crazy. I'm going to just slide it down a bit because I want to kind of center it a little bit here. Oh, this is awesome. Look at the colors. Oh, look at the, the green. The green is so pretty. Oh, wow. I'm so excited. This is pretty. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to torch my white petal here and a little bit of my white petal here. And add some something to that. And a little bit down here. Oh, wow. I am so happy with this. Super, super happy. I'm loving it. Now I gotta try and make sure this does not fall over the edge at all. Actually, that's pretty much of a white petal and I can see there's color under there as well. Um, so I'm gonna torch that. Yeah. Wow. Look what came out here when I bring you guys down for a close up. Holy cow, that's so pretty. I'm super, super, super stoked with this. So what you wanna do guys, don't forget, I'm gonna use my finger. Um, take your finger or a popsicle stick and literally scrape the bottom of your canvas or your piece round, whatever it is you have, and get those drips off, okay? It is so important to get these drips. These drips will pull the paint from the top of your canvas or your board or whatever you're painting on and it'll just keep pulling the paint off and off the sides so do that come back to it see look still dripping right come back to it maybe 10 minutes later whatever and do it again and then do it again and again and again okay just keep doing it it'll really help with the process of um, your composition and it not getting all mucked up Oh my gosh, I just, wow. Wow. I really, 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 really hope this stays here and really doesn't fall off the edge. I really, really hope. And the thing is I can't even put anything under it to kind of keep it from going. I really hope it's not moving. So that's another reason, see? Still, it's still, it's, it's just moving, right? It's just naturally going to move. So I'm going to keep coming back at this, especially this spot right here. I'm just going to keep coming back. I'm going to keep doing that. And hopefully um, that'll keep it from moving. Oh, wow. I, I'm not, I'm not touching anything else. That's it. I'm, I'm not going to touch anything else. This is amazing. Okay. I'm going to um, bring you guys down for a close up to see this. You, you won't believe it. Be right back. All right, guys, check it out. I am so stoked about this piece. Look at this. I love it. So still dripping. Let me show you. See that? Get rid of it. Keep going. Come back to it. Keep coming back to it. Look at I on this side it doesn't matter too much because there's a lot of negative space. But somewhere like here, you really, really want to make sure. See all that? Look at that. Lots and lots of paint dripping. And this is coming closer and closer to the edge. Stop moving. Look. See? Lots of paint still. Anywho, back to the close-up. I will keep fidgeting with that, but look how... Okay, so this is where I torched. Look at that. None of this was here before I torched it. None of it. None of it. Sounds like a place in Ontario, in, in, uh, in Canada. None of it. It is actually a place. Anywho, as I was saying, see how easily I get distracted? Anywho, look at all of this was not here none of that it just appeared after i torched it um same with this N that all those um that here was not here and um same with all of that so this is why i like to torch 
the petals where they're white because I know there is color hiding under there. Guys, this is stunning. And because this is a wood round, it will get a coat of resin on it. Um, I don't varnish my wood pieces. All my wood pieces get a uh, coat of art resin. Look at that. There's the green. Look how beautiful that is. Um, I love it. Unfortunately, I think that is going to slip off the edge. I'm going to try my hardest for that not to happen. But overall, I am so excited with this piece. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments, guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Um, everything you need to know is listed in the description below. Oh, it's like it's like it's moving more and more. Stop moving. Ugh, I'm going to have to do this. Maybe lift it. Bring it back. Oh, well, it is what it is. Whatever happens, happens. The overall piece is still beautiful. So as I was saying, please check out all my information in the description below. Please subscribe to my channel. If you are watching and you are not a subscriber, please hit that red subscription button. I would really appreciate it. It really helps me, helps my channel. And I'm trying to reach that goal of 100K. I'm at 71,000, so I'm almost there, guys. Please help me reach that goal. And that's it. Um, social media links. Oh, I forgot to mention, I now have an Amazon UK link. So I have an Amazon shop for Canada, an Amazon shop for the US, and now I have a shop for the UK. All right, so check that out. It's all listed in the description below. That's it for now, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a good day. Have a good night and take care and be safe. That's it. Bye, guys.